This looks like a pretty good private equity vintage year. <laughs> Let's talk about IRR and the reinvestment rate. Uh, now, the IRR is used traditionally as one of the main measures of private equity performance, along with uh, money multiples. And there's been quite a lot of criticism of IRR as a performance measure increasingly in recent years. And the root cause of the uh, problem with IRR as a measure of performance is the uh, reinvestment rate assumption made by the formula calculating IRR. Let's take a few examples of how this problem with the IRR reinvestment rate plays itself out in practice in private equity. The first example would be when you calculate end-to-end -end returns over a long period, which show a good result at the end of the period. But where we have a phenomenon where over the period we measure in the early years, we had some pretty good results. So high returns on some investments. Then what happens with the IRR formula is it sort of assumes that pre, uh, future cash flows will be in re reinvested at the same rate and therefore the IRR will be distorted and will give too much importance to the good results of the early years of the measurement period. The second example of where you would get a distortion in the IRR is in the case of a sample where you had a lot of distributions that were made so exits uh, that were made in the early part of the measurement period, which would then distort the IRR measurement upwards uh, because of the effect and the amplification it would have during the reinvestment rate until the end of the period. A third example of where IRR distortion would come into play is when we're trying to measure the relative performance of fund managers in their quartiles. So we want to measure the, the average IRR of say a top quartile fund manager and compare that to the average IRR of a lower quartile fund manager. And what the reinvestment rate will do is it will cause the top manager's uh, positive performance to be amplified upwards and the poor manager's performance to be amplified downwards and therefore it will exaggerate the dispersion or the, the width between the top performing and the bottom performing fund manager. And that will give a false picture of the industry and have the effect of making LPs exaggeratedly keen to go into the top quartile when they might consider managers in other quartiles as well. By the present time, uh, plenty has been said about the uh, weaknesses of IRR as a measure of performance. It's become increasingly uh, something that people are aware of in the industry. And so going forwards, it should only become one of many measures. And now that people are aware of what the issues are with it, it we should be able to go forwards with a more, more accurate knowledge of private equity performance. Thank you.